the results are in. New Zealand Sustainability Film Challenge for Young People, the outlook for some day 2010 has been well and truly met. To celebrate, we'll be screening a week of winning films, with subjects ranging from the Canterbury Quake to consumer excess, but all with a vision of a sustainable New Zealand. TVNZ6 presents The Outlook for Sunday 2010, every night this week at 6.30pm and 8.30pm. If you feel we've breached broadcasting standards, send a formal complaint to us at the address on screen. There's more information on our website. Welcome back to It's In The Bag. Tonight's show is coming to you from Invercargill. Invercargill, thank you. You've raised $10,000 for the Riding for the Disabled. We'd like to thank these. Well done. Jean Mackay. Hello, Jean. I was just about to say, we'd like to thank the Southland Promotions people in the Pākeke Lions Club who helped put it all together and got you here as well. Jean, I've got three questions for you. According to the saying, a stitch in time saves... You know that one, I'm sure. Yeah. A stitch in time saves... It's a time, it's 8 o'clock, isn't it? We'll have you out... Uh, just a little, just a, sorry, just a little chat there with the... Uh, yeah. Stitch in time saves what? Now, we'll come back to that. Which sporting event was decided off the coast of Perth in the summer of 1986-87? Any idea? You know that one. It was all over the papers and the tally, wasn't it? Macadamia is a type of... Nut. You've got that one. It's good to have one under the belt. Okay. <laughs> According to the saying, let's try this one again. I'm sure you know it, Jean. A stitch in time saves... Time saves... No? It's not going to come? Time saves... saves... It was... Nine. No. You knew it. Oh, Jean, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Lynette Jack. Hello, Lynette. You knew the answer to that one, didn't um, you? Yes, but we've got another rest. Ah, what is hush money, Lynette? Hush money. Hush money. Mm. Money that people give you to keep you quiet, save your time. Yes, children. yes, bribe to ensure yeah. secrecy, correct. Where is a haversack carried? Over your shoulder. Yes, on the back. Which part of a cooked chicken is called a drumstick? The leg. The leg, you'll do me, Lynette. You've got your food to the bag. Um, Bag number 10, please. Bag number 10, Hilary, thank you very much indeed. Let's not mess about. I want to meet all the locals in Invercargill tonight. I'll come up with a decent offer for you, $600. Oh, I'll take the bag. Oh, I'll take the bag, eh? You're making it difficult for me. Seven. I'll take the bag. Eight. I'll take the bag. Nine. I'll take the money. The money is $900. Yes, please. Yeah. Miserable amount yes, of money. Yes, but I need it. Do you really? Yes. Well, how do you imagine how we feel at Television New Zealand? It's pretty tough at the moment. Give us a loan. Give us a loan. We can negotiate the interest okay. rates. Okay. You sure you want? You sure well, you want she's money? Tough. Oh, she's she's tough. tough. She is tough. <laughs> you You've go. missed out on five hundred dollars worth of Tommy toys and games from Fengens oh. of Auckland. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sue O'Shea is our next contestant. Hello, Sue. Hello. Your first question. Are oh, you come through from Gore? Hey, we'll do some country music a little later for you. <laughs> I mean, all that kiss and angel, good morning stuff. You know. <laughs> I know a golden guitar when I see one. Sue, how many lives does a cat claim to have? Nine. Correct. What is the rising ingredient used in bread making? Yeast. Correct. Claustrophobia is fear of what? Closed in spaces. Yes, it is, Sue. You'll do me. <laughs> to the back. Well, Number 12, Hilary, thank you very much. I suppose it cost you a fair bit to drive through from Gore, didn't it? <laughs> so no? Lots and lots and lots. It was about, oh, about 600 Who signed you on? <laughs> I never intended being happy. Yeah. Did you not? No. Did you just come to be in the audience? Yes, what decided you to come on stage? Well, I had a deal with my husband. A deal? Or what no, source? not a deal, a deer. Oh, a deer. Did he come up and have a go at getting he in? He did. He did, and he didn't get through. You're right. Oh, I see. <laughs> Sue, coming a bit close. Uh, what should I, how much money should I dare you with? Oh. Uh, 300? Better, well, I'll take the bag. Four. The bag. 450. Um. She's from Gore at 450 in Chicago. <laughs> 450. 
the bag. Bag it is at 450. Here we go, Sue. For the family, a range of footwear from Raybox valued at $800. Hey, oh, they'll love that. Yeah. Suits the price. All right. Love Thank you very much indeed. Our next one is Linda Buchanan. Hello, Linda. Hi. The shoes would have been nice, wouldn't they? Yeah, they would have. Here we go. A duchess is the wife of a what? Duke. Duke, correct. Gridiron is played mainly in which country? America. America, correct. The Chatham Islands are part of which country? New Zealand. New Zealand. You'll do me, Linda. <laughs> Bag number 11. Hilary, thank you very much indeed. What would you consider for a shop assistant as a decent offer? Uh, 500. 500. All right. $500. The money or the bag, Linda? Uh, bag. The bag. Fine. She's taking the bag at $500. <laughs> a set of Ulrich aluminium ladders, total value of $760. That'll get you right up to the top shelf, Linda. All right. Thank you very much indeed. Linda Coates is our next contestant. Hi, Linda. Hi. And you've come through from Bluff. Yeah. I went down there earlier today. It was wild and woolly, but lovely. Yeah, it's not, it was a nice day. Absolutely <laughs> wonderful. It was great to stand there and look out and see the Antarctic on a clear day. Oh, I don't think you can see that far. Oh, you, oh, you can't? No. They told me it was the Antarctic. Would it have been Stewart Island? Oh, maybe. The locals are tough, aren't they, <laughs> in the Bluff? All right, Linda. Got your first question. Where in the money was the theme advertising what? Um, lotto. Lotto, correct, Linda. Your next question. How many in a jury in a New Zealand court of law? Twelve. Twelve is correct, Linda. Your final one. A Chong Sam is a dress worn traditionally by women of which race? <laughs> Pronounced Chong Sam, spelt C H E O N. China, China is correct. <laughs> Correct, <laughs> um, uh, number four. Bag number four. Thank you, Hillary. Linda, forty dollars the money or the bag. Oh, I'd take bag. One forty. Bag. Two forty. Bag. Three forty. Six forty. Bag. At six hundred and forty dollars in Vicago, we must be getting close. Seven forty. Um, money or the bag, Linda? What would you like? Got some good prizes still in sitting in there, uh, waiting bag. for you. The bag. Bag it is at seven hundred and forty dollars. Every thank you. Oh no, hey, Lin no baby prizes have gone yet, have they? Oh, we wouldn't do this to you, Linda. You're from Bluff. Did we do that to her? Well, I don't know, but it still washes away to John, and it's now a collector's item. <laughs> It'll be worth money one day. Rinso! <laughs> Just a moment, we'll see who's going for the fabulous travel bag prize. Our travel bag winner will fly Air New Zealand and British Airways to any London shop destination in the world. Enchanting Britain. New and interesting places. Fascinating cultures. Endless sightseeing. Travel bag includes the exciting Cadiz collection of luggage from flight the Polaroid Spectra gift set, spending money of $5,000 worth of traveler's checks from American Express. The total travel bag package is worth $21,000. Thank you very much. Well, to help with the draw to see who goes for travel bag is somebody who's very well known throughout New Zealand, not just in Invercargill, Suzanne Prentice. Suzanne, lovely having you on your show. Good to see you again. Listen, um, I have always wanted to sing with you, yes. and I just, I just wonder if we could, you know, if I could butcher one of your star songs. So, Why don't we try? All right, all right, let's go. I'll take my cue from you. Okay. Delta Dawn, what's that flower you have on? Could it be a favourite song? <laughs> right. Um, okay. You Let's do a deal. job. <laughs> That's nice of you to say. The star is born there. Uh, you do the singing and I'll do the shows. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Thanks, Suzanne, if you could do the draw. Okay. Wonderful. Hey, neat to see you again. Thank you so much for being on the show. It's number 12. Suzanne, thank you very much indeed. Number 12, Sue O'Shea it was. Sue O'Shea. Come on out, Sue. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm oh, not... you're not sure. 
Your husband was very mean and he put you up here on a dare, did he not? That's right. But you've done pretty well so far, haven't you? Thank you. Yes. All right. We'll be back in just a moment when we see how Sue does with Travel Bag. <laughs> at six.